Thank you, Madam Chair. And uh, Commissioner, it's just wonderful to see you. And I thank you so much for you uh, coming to my office and, you know, and I gave you my wish list and I'm hopefully that you really went over that, you know, before you came here today. But, uh, <laughs> but I appreciate all, especially all the DOT uh, workers for what they do every day, all the union workers that uh, work so hard. Um, <clears throat> so in, in um, the budget includes an additional 48 million in general fund appropriations for operations, and yet full-time employees are not increasing. What are the additional funds being used for? 48 million for operations. That goes to literally everything that uh, we do within the uh, state system. So operations literally funds our snow and ice, our highway maintenance program, um, everything that we do to maintain the system itself, those all come directly into our operations. Okay, but our full-time employees, we're look there actually, what's happening with them with the increases of decent wage, decent health care, and decent pension. Are we, are we looking? Yes, this? sir, actually, we, uh, we have just looked very seriously at our snow and ice team in particular and have made adjustments accordingly, recognizing that they absolutely do deserve a living wage. Please, and it's so, very, very important. We know what's, what's happening right now with inflation and everything like that. And you know, we're all praising our DOT workers, but you know what, they need to, you know, and, they, need and to, we have they need to be compensated, please. They have been. Um, and I thank the Assemblywoman Gallagher, thank you so much, because leaving Long Island and going to, it's scary, that BQE. That is, it is so scary. You go with a truck and trailer, I'm into cars, okay? Driving with a truck and trailer. That is a disaster, and right, not just to put down new pavement, that needs to be totally engineered. Um, me being in construction, it is just a disaster, so um, we can't just do a pothole repair, it needs to be totally revamped. So I know that's a tough one, but that really has to be looked into. And I thank you, uh, Assemblywoman, for bringing that up. Um, the CHIPS Fund, can you explain to me what your role is to help CHIPS? And I thank the Assemblyman um, that he brought that up. What is your role in helping CHIPS? And I, and I always want to thank our Senator O'Mara for always having our CHIP day and, you know, the, the, super, the, you know, the superintendents come up and, you know what, and of course they're looking for CHIPS money. Because you got to remember something, these prime trucks and these drop chips and shipping trucks are driving all over our neighborhood right now. And really, seriously, there should be like toll booths and they should be, you know, paying for driving all over our roads right now. I understand it's progress. But what could we do to help our chip funds out to really, seriously, these trucks are driving all over our neighborhoods. Everybody knows that. That can't be three minutes. <laughs> Senator Kruger. I don't, I don't follow, you know, I don't make Can she just answer the question, please, if you don't mind? Can you quickly answer the question? So one, I want to thank you for your advocacy for our, uh, our highway workers. I greatly appreciate it. Um, we have made huge strides, and I really thank the governor for that, uh, to make sure that they are compensated for the incredible work that they do. With regard to CHIPS, one of the things that I was trying to point out is we really have put the legislature and the executive put in a lot of money to actually $6.1 billion for local programs, leveraging that across a whole variety of reimbursement programs. So my role in particular, DOT's role in particular, is to make sure that we work with the localities to spend those dollars as wisely as possible. Thank, Thank you so you. much.